what's going on guys so welcome back to the channel it's called G here again today we're going to be rebuilding my work shoes a pair of vintage floor shine imperials the kenmore black range and we're going to be rebuilding these back to their former glory join us today to see how it turns out guys welcome back so what we're going to be doing is breaking down this shoe first off we're going to remove this old heel block just wanted to point out here you might be able to see it it's been worked on before and there's been a little build up being added in and whoever done it before didn't do it the best because when you wear them they are quite rocky uh, they're not very even so we're going to be removing that not reusing it we're just going to chuck that away and rebuild up with some leather stacks all right heel popper is going in so everyone is doing well out there. I've had a couple of weeks off due to my birthday. Some good celebrations I've had up in Oban, Scotland with the family. So yeah, there's our old heel block. So we're just going to chuck that, get rid of that and rebuild with some new proper leather stacks. And we're just going to remove all these old nails as well. Okay, next up we're going to take our tool and we're just going to pop it in between the welt and the old sole and we're just going to pry that apart. It allows us to get to the stitches a little bit better. The stitches on the top here at the front of the shoe are broken just due to wear. But this will allow us just to cut the ones that aren't. Stitch is cut and the old sole should just come off nicely now. So we're going to keep this old sole and we're going to trace where these original nails were on it for the new sole. Okay, first look on the inside. Well, it's in good condition. There's no splits, there's no way that it's coming off on its own. There's all the stitching is intact. Here is our shank, which is a metal shank with a little bit of uh, cardboard on top just to keep it safe as it's getting walked on. Uh, so we're just going to clean out all this cork area, unpick all the old stitches and get it all prepared for the new stuff.
So that old cork made a bit of a mess in my workstation. So we're going to get a good old Henry, trusty Henry. And we're going to suck all that shit up. Alright, stitch picking time. So we've got all the old stitches here. So we've just got a little stitch picker here that we're just going to use to take out all these old ones. Now, some cobblers skip this step, which is a bit of a shame. It produces quite a bad end result. Um, when you're restitching, you're stitching over the old stitches, and some of the old stitches then start to break and pull up and feather all over the place, and it just doesn't look nice at the end. So a good way and a proper way to do it is to remove all the old stitches, hit all the original holes, and it looks a much nicer finish at the end. And that's all the old stitches picked out of there. So we're ready to pop the new ones in. All right, so now that the shoe's all broken down, what we're gonna be doing now is adding a little bit of cleaning and conditioning into the uppers and the welt area. We've got a really good product here from uh, Saphir. Uh, it's called Rene Vitor. So we're just gonna pop that all over the shoe, leave it to dry for about five minutes, and then we'll fall off. All righty. Alright, let's get the shank in. So we've glued up the area, glued up the shank, and ready to go. And now we're just going to recork that area. Got some nice fresh oatmeal here. It's going to do a nice even layer all the way around the shoe. And this will help to leave a nice impression for myself. So when I've got these worn, I'll just have to go through a small breakthrough process. Whereas the cork over time will mold to the shape of my foot. Give me a comfortable fit. I did buy these second hand on eBay for £9, would you believe it or not? Uh, about a year ago. So they have had some good wear for myself. But they did have someone else's foot pattern in it originally. So this would be a good way to sort of make it my own a little bit better. Now this product is wet. It's mixed with acetone or something I think by the looks of it. So what we'll do is we'll just leave it to dry. It takes about I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Once it's dry we'll sand it flush on the machine and ready for our new sole to go on top. We don't want it to be all bumpy and we don't want to put too much in here at this stage. If we put too much in here, it's going to transfer through to the footbed and probably make the shoe just a little bit smaller. 
and he's already pretty tight on my feet so we don't want to go ahead and do that it's quite satisfying actually Right, I'm just going to pop on this sole now. So originally these floor shimes had double sole, so we're going to be replicating that, pop it on another sole on top. Alright guys, so we're going to run a nice groove all the way 360 degrees around the shoe using the groover tool here.
Alright, so we managed to hit all the original holes. We're going to use the old sole as a pattern, just so we know exactly where the original nails went that are attached to the sole. It's a bit of a vintage floor shine. This is their kind of trademark. There we go, so we know where to pop our new nails in. Right, now we're going to try and do the pitch of the shoe, so we pop it on right now, it's going to be a little bit rocky, so we're going to just cut this at an angle from the front to the back, and it'll sit on a little bit better.
Alright guys, so that's us done with another project. These vintage floor seams came out super tasty. This time around we ripped them right down to the bare bones and rebuilt up with a double executive leather sole and what's called a suicide heel. We've uh, cleaned and conditioned all the uppers and on the edge here we've gone for a natural edge finish just to give the shoes a little bit of a different look and feel from the original black that was on there and I think they came out really nice. Alright guys, so you know what to do. If you like this video, drop me a little thumbs up. Drop me a little comment below, let me know what you think about the job. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, until the next one, I've been Cobbler G, you've been Legends. Peace.